And the subject is types of base bats. And the question is types of base bats. Hi, Jim. Listen to Bruce. <laughs> listen to Bruce's podcast. He talked about how you kept the bat in the trunk of your car. My question is what type of bat would you carry? Wooden or aluminum? When did you start carrying the bat in the car and who suggested a bat in the car? Well, I did, I did, I suggested, nobody suggested it. I just did it because I fear that might be a good thing sometimes. Um, <laughs> sometimes it wasn't a good thing, but it was necessary. Um, as far as aluminum or wood, it, it depended on the era. Uh, for example, I will tell you that the bat that I had in Smoky Mountain Wrestling that I modified Casey O'Connor's car with in that incident uh, was an aluminum bat because actually I, we had needed a bat for television and I'd sent somebody out to get a bat and that's the bat they came with. And, and I had had it since that point. And I, that was a, since I had a bat, that was a bat that I had for a while until the incident with Terry Landell, that is the bat that somebody retweeted the report here not long ago, or one of the reports on the internet where it basically said as, as Stacy Cornett was chasing Terry Landell and he was pepper spraying her in the face, Cornett was jostling over the bat with two other men, one of whom he struck multiple times. <laughs> but that bat, the Casey O'Connor bat was that bat, but that bat was lost that day because as I was chasing Landell and he got far enough away from me and got in between some cars, this is before I got in the car. That I didn't think that I was going to get him. I sidearmed the bat at him in hopes of, you know, I've seen the movies where, you know, if, if it just it just went just right, it'd whack him right in the back of the head. But I missed him and it kind of went downwards and he hopscotched it. <laughs> so I got back in the car and that's when he ran back up and pepper sprayed her in the face again. And that's when I took the car and, and was and floored it. And when I hopped the curb so that I could run him down. But the, when he run by his audio guy, he grabbed him and threw him in like behind him. And that's who ended up going over the top of the hood before when I hit the brakes. But anyway, I digress. So that bat was lost. But then uh, obviously, as I was living in Louisville, I got a, a, a Louisville slugger, a wooden one, as a matter of fact, and that one I, I still possess to this day when, when Stacy doesn't hide it from me, um, you know, when things are, are, are not going well. Is there a Louisville slugger store, like where you can get official bats? I mean, you would. Well, yeah, well, they're, they're every, every sporting goods store in fucking America. No, but like in Louisville itself, is there like well, a. Yes, uh, you go down to the, you can actually go to the, the, the plant, the factory. The Louisville Slugger Museum is right there with the, uh, the, the factory. You can go down and watch them make the goddamn thing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty yes, cool. it is. That's that's the kind of thing that we have around here, pal. And you, <laughs> Arn Anderson would always say that. He'd say something and he'd say, and you. <laughs> Tom Robinson ran into Arn Anderson not too long ago. And they knew each other back in the day from, you know, Philadelphia. As you know, Tom yes. would be backstage. He would drive people around. And Tom goes over to Arn. He goes, hey, Arn, I want to come over and say hello. I'm Tom Robinson. I used to drive you around and stuff. And Arn goes, I don't know you. And just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> so most people are cool when they see Tom, but but Arn, big time. <laughs> well, it, it, but now in all fairness, Tom weighs what about 150 pounds more than what he would have weighed last time Arn might have seen him in the 80s, and that was a, 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 a long ago decade. Who knows? I don't know. Let me ask you, what's worse, that story, that example of him saying "I don't know you" and walking away? Or the story Howard Baum told on my show where, uh, like, in 89, he went up to Kevin Sullivan in a bar after an NWA show. And he had been shooting Florida for years. And he said, hey, Kevin, I'm Howard Baum. Well, let's say hello. And Kevin said, I know who you are. And that was the end of that conversation. So what's worse? I don't know you or I know who you are. <laughs> I think. I think I know who you are is probably worse because I don't know you. You can might get over with the guy, but I, I know who you are. You're pretty fucking sunk. 